What do you guys think? Harper's OnlyFans? You can just like tongue it. You get a bag. Okay. I'm gonna go for a streetwear. Uh, hands get at me, bro. I would see Eric more than I'd see my own family. I am Spider Man. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Eric with Harbors Vintage. We own a vintage streetwear and sneaker store in Honolulu, Hawaii. You can stay up to date with us on Instagram at Harbors Vintage. And then we also have a second location. You can follow them at Harbors Vintage Waikiki. We're putting out new videos pretty much every single week on Sundays at 8 p.m. And also we do ship items. So if you see anything on the Instagrams, we're more than happy to ship it out to you. you just gotta DM us to purchase. Yo, all right, what do you guys think? What do you guys think, Harbors OnlyFans? All right, we're back. Took us a little bit to get back on the show. We have a new set now, a lot nicer set. And here we are with the, the man himself, the deepest voice in the game, you know, best dress, vintage go-getter, you know, my boy, my man's. Hey, man. Let's, um, let's, get, let's get a little origin story of you with the shop. Arnell put me on. Shower like now. why? Like way back. I think his rock T-shirt. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh, and I was like, possible. I was like, where'd you get that from? And he's like, the spot, bro. It didn't gatekeep me. Thank God, bro. But like, I, I got put on, bro. And then I think, dude, there was a point where I was at. I think I was at the store like almost, like like half the week, oh, every really? week, bro. Like every week, I would see Eric more than I'd see my own family, kind of thing. Yo, bro. yo, because Eric is. Family, like, that's small. I wish I was exaggerating, bro. Like this is not an exaggeration, guys. Like I would, I would literally be at the store. Like I don't even buy stuff sometimes. I just come to a talk Hang story, out. bro. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, dude. And yeah, that was my origin story with the shop. I was been to you know, over here, like push the boundaries. We got um, we got some gifts dropped up over here. We got to look a little restock. Look at this guy. Nice little. Whoa! Wait a second. <laughs> How in Bruh. the? Wait a. What? Crazy. Oh, there's a feet. All right, it's been revealed. <laughs> we have a gift for you, sir. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's like Oscar the Grouch, yeah. man. Hey yo, it's your very own. Why didn't they do Austin Negrachi actually? It's your very own. Dude, has in a box, man. Dude, has in a box. Oh, everything I ever wanted. He'll thrift for you, you know. He'll. Bro, I'm like <laughs> so tight in it, bro. Hey, I guess it's a boxy fit. Ah. 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 <laughs> ah. Let, let us know if you guys want to buy a heads box set. What's your favorite cereal? My favorite one. Man, I'm gonna have to say, pull it up right here. Yo, Apple Jacks? Apple Jacks slept hey. on, bro. For real, bro. That cinnamon taste, bro, is out this world. Nah. What's your favorite cereal? Um, Captain Crunch, honestly. Captain Crunch. Crunch. Nah, you know what it is? I have old man taste. Um, my favorite cereals at home is um, it's Special K and Raisin Bran. Special K. Oh, you weird! Especially being a raisin bran, so weird. You're a senior citizen. I am. Nah, nah I, I, I like I like raisin bran crunch. What's up? Uh, we have our new friend Rachel. Um, when did you start working? Two days ago. Oh dang! Okay. Yeah, hey. Brand new. Brand new. Hey, you got you got the best supervisor and then the, the best manager. Hey. Oh, uh, Mark. Mark's the best too. Mark's the best too. Mark. Mark. Oh no. Oh no. So Brock would come at the to the Kamaki store right when I open, say what's up, and then he'd be like, all right, I'll come by a little later. And I'd be like, oh, whatever. And then and then I'd, I'd be busy like doing stuff throughout the day. And then he'd come by at like 3.30, like with a whole different outfit. I think the most I've seen him maybe three times in one day. Really? Wow. It's been, it's been nuts. Cause like sometimes I'll go by myself and then sometimes I'll grab by now. Or sometimes I'll grab somebody else and oh, I'll just come back. Brock's the first person that sold us any Yeezys ever. Oh. Yeah. Yeezy, Wait, really? Yeah, Yeezy 500 blush. It is the end of a Friday night and I actually have a very special new guest now, or not new guest, but Mr. Returning guest. Himself, returning guest. Hey. So this is um, Arnaud's actually first night working, first day working for us. First day. So how you feeling? How's your experience so far? Uh, learned a lot. Everything looking very exciting. Cause yeah, you met you met like a lot of like the kid the kid treats guy, a lot of the oh, sushi yeah. guy, a lot of like returning customers. A lot too, of them stopped by. Learned a lot, a lot, a lot of names. Just cause yeah. um, I got good uh, teachers. Bro, <laughs> show me show me the ropes, you know. Nah, man, it's, it was all natural. It was nah. all natural. But yeah, <laughs> glad to have Arnold aboard. Can't wait to make more memories and everything. Looking forward. 
It's a day early, but by the time the vlog comes out, um, happy birthday. Thank Already. you, thank you. How old are you turning? You're turning 21, the 21, dog. He's fully legal. I'm gonna be a real adult now. Bro, my, catch my boy out here 7-Elevens, you know, everywhere. Tom's, Foodlands, your local Walmarts and Targets. Bro, I can finally eat at those bar and grills without feeling uncomfortable, bro. Bro, you can finally just like sit at the bar and just order water, dude. You're ready. Hey guys, welcome. I want milk. I want milk. And of course, you know, we have a little gift for him. Bye. It's me. I'm the gift. Oh my God, dude. I've always wanted a tea, bro. <laughs> How about a hoodie? Y'all playing with me. You guys actually. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, take that off real quick. All right. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Oh yeah, a little treat for the homie, you know. Can't go wrong. You should get buddy. Bro, this man, thank, thank you guys. Thank no for real. Thank, thank you guys. Happy birthday, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank You're the you. boy. You're our guy. All right, hold on. Let me get the camera. Hey, yo, so what's your favorite memory of Rock? He was gonna perform at Hawaiian Brian's. Oh, that's right. And then I was like, yo, out. I'll come through. And I feel like they thought I was joking. I pulled up. Oh, you pulled up? I pulled up. Pulled up. Yeah. Pulled up. So many performers before you guys. And then Myron's like, hey man, we're up in 15 minutes. Just a little longer. Don't worry. <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks, Myron. <laughs> Hanging out with Arnell that night. Yeah. And then JoJo was there. And then seeing you guys finally perform. And then that's when you guys did Haunted Tea Live. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, like I know Brock, or I'm friends with Brock, or Chrome Hearts Jeans, or Denim exactly. Jeans, or whatever. It's, it's especially that, it's like, it's a, are you Chrome Hearts Jeans? I hate that <laughs> are one, bro. Are you the Chrome Hearts Jeans? I made that, made that username as a joke, bro, but now here I am. Dude. Bro, it's a fire username, It's, it's, it's still a, well, I got the name Lucky, because I think I was watching a YouTube video on like how rappers got their names. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the Wu-Tang name generator. Oh, oh yeah. okay, also and like, bro, Childish Gambino. Yeah. 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 The Childish Gambino one, I was like, oh, dude, I could do and come with a nick nickname. And then Lucky Hunter popped up. And I was like, oh, that sounds weird with the Hunter part in it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll just do Lucky instead. And I just put an exclamation point at the end. Because I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. Okay, okay. But then I actually changed it again now. Because it's now Lucky Roo. Oh. And then also it's the name of like... Shanks is first one of his first mates. Well, I don't well, know if y'all watch One Piece, bro, but there's that one dude that just like the fat dude. Mark, what the piece of meat? Yeah, the head. piece of meat in his head. Mark, put the picture right here. Bro, my boy. Shoot, yeah, right here. My boy. That's Lucky Roo, bro. Yeah, like I like I was like, oh, bro, that's literally me. And like the name is easy to find, and his name is Lucky. I was like, bro, that's so probably the first time oh, really? we did UH together. Oh, yeah, okay. the first time we did UH was good. Yeah, when me and Eric went to go park the car and Brock got swarmed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big news, big news has happened. Gabby's been with us. Well, we started paying her. She was started as an intern. She worked for like three months without pay, but that was during COVID. It was hard times back then. It was, it was for a school internship. It was for a school <laughs> internship. But then we love Gabby. She proved herself time and time and again, and we started paying her, and it's been over a year um, now, and then she's kind of like, she's, you know, someone I could rely on when it comes to like the Britannia store. Um, very organized. Um, none of us, none of us are that organized here. We try, but it just never, never happened. So we're promoting Gabby to manager. Congrats, Gabby. <laughs> So I just brought these stuff in uh, to sell, to consign. It's a bunch of, I don't know how many teas, but they're all hitting the floor soon. It's just some mids and stuff. Nothing really crazy, just stuff I liked. Dude, that's it. Uh, show the back, show the back. That sure like it's a wrap cold. Haha. Uh -huh. And then they got the first. <laughs> this one is one of my favorites, dude. I hit two good balls today. I stepped on a rake, you know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, Paul Frank t-shirt, that's pretty cool. Y2K vibes. Yeah. If you know, you know. Uh, Cause UT. I found this one the other day. Nice. Wow. 1991 Metallica t-shirt. The, the fat metal oh, Metallica, Metallica tag. Metallica tag. License under Brockham, so it's, you know, it's good. And actually, it's actually a Hawaii tour tee. Whoa. So hands get at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, dude, that, yeah, this is a, it's be hitting the floor soon too. I found a Prince t-shirt, but That's you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> what, Gabby? You get a bag, you get a bag, you get a bag. Okay. I'm the Oprah streetwear. <laughs> <laughs> we got it on camera. We got a bunch of new bait. Let's do see stuff in. We're just gonna show you what we got. At first, starting off the best part, past piece. 
This is the baby Milo. What is this? Inflatable? Inflatable. It's kind of an inflatable pillow. Very cute. 2011 vape leather grooming? Grooming kit. Grooming kit made out of the, the embossed. You see the embossed leather? That quality. <laughs> this is when Nigo was still there. He, he left 2013. This is pretty. This is like during Nigo times. Ooh. This is crazy, guys. Look the at grooming this. Kit. Oh, oh. oh. Silica gel. Got scissors, the tweezers, pack? comb. Bait, Stussy. This is really nice. Yeah, this, this is, is a cool uh, 30 year anniversary. Bait Mastermind collab. We've got crazy, crazy, crazy collab. Logo. And then Mastermind, Mastermind on the other side. It's the same, it's the same bag. Yeah, if you guys are not familiar with Mastermind, really cool Japanese streetwear brand. Um, also very expensive, so to get the tote bags, It'd be a pretty affordable price. We're gonna put these up for like 120. I know the tees usually go for like 200 something, so it's a good deal. Classic like mid 2000s Stussy, increase the piece. We have a few of those. We have a backpack. And also like this like kind of duffel, tiny duffel pouch. Yeah, tiny duffel. Oh, and also a small little messenger bag. So yeah, we're stocked up on all the accessories, guys. Come through, Oprah of streetwear. You wanna you wanna give a, a little story about the shirt you're wearing right now? Neon Genesis Evangelion T-shirt. I was looking at one rack and he was on the other rack, and then he like pulled this T-shirt up and he's like, "Yo," and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." And then because I thought it was a reprint, you know what I'm saying? But then I went closer and then I saw the tag, and then I was like, I like looked at it and then like immediately the first thing I did was take pictures and then I sent it to Adrian. I shout out Adrian, bro, because he responded so fast because I was like, yo, can I get a confirmation if this is real or not? And he's like, got you. And this man went through like multiple people, bro. Went to like multiple like accounts, like big vintage anime accounts and like, and then he gave me the all clear. Hez helped me out too. Shout out Hez. It's a blue and white, bro. It's unit zero, one and two, bro. It, Ray. Shinji and Asuka, bro. I have to go on abstinence. I'm on vintage t-shirt abstinence right now. It's really bad, dude. Like, but it's helped me out a lot. Like, I've been like, I've been like, I've been like patient. I've been like saving my money. I've been looking around. I've been being very good, very diligent. So, um, Kid Streets has a special Sunday going on. It is a, what is it? I think it's like, it's like a $35 Sunday. It comes with a chalice, ice cream, all the fixings. Yo, whoa, that's kind of gas. You get a scoop, you know, whipped cream, cherry, all that nice stuff, you know? <laughs> and you know, as, as Sundays do, it's gonna, it's gonna melt, and I just caught it. <laughs> you guys caught on camera, I am Spider-Man, in fact. Whoa, you know Spider-Man's friend? Yeah. Bro, shout my boy, dog. <laughs> yeah, right, now, what's your rating? Out of five. Yo, this sh** laughs. I, I give it a six. Six out of five, all right. It's already like, it's a really, it's a really good. So it's like already a five out of five. But like the presentation, you gotta bump it up one more point. There we go, it's all in presentation. I mean, hey, honestly dog, everyone knows me. I'll eat whatever, ice cream especially. 10 out of 10, six out of five, you know. <laughs> 10 out of 10, six out of five. It is crazy. I think, it, I think what makes it like, not like, you know, cool, coolness cool, but temperature cool is the glass too. Because mm, yeah, yeah, because kids treats will melt really fast on you. That's why. Mm. That's but true. Yeah. I didn't think about that actually. Yeah, I'm wondering about how we're we gonna do like the bottom of this because the bottom's all chocolate syrup. That's why. Hmm. Can you just like tongue it? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. Cut that. Hey, look. You know, I, know, I didn't think you. I know I'm HR and everything, but you know, hey, oh, yeah, I know, I know we're close to you. Hey, look, all right, look. All right, cut that, cut that, sorry. This, this is how you can tell, hold on, I'm gonna back over here. This is how you can tell, you know, you, you know, us and HV, we're really close like that. You know? <laughs> Yo, you need your back scratch too, I got you, you know, you know, I got you, anything else you need, I got you too. But not that on company hours. After maybe, who knows. These are tongues. <laughs> Bad take. But uh, Travis found some chocolate cookies in the bag. And <laughs> we're gonna... <laughs> so we're gonna crush up the cookies, we're gonna add it into the sundae so that it gives it a little bit more substance and you know, it's easier to, to scoop. I just realized, this is pretty much like what McFlurries are made of. Ah. Yeah, I just had that thought, I was like, I'm li we, li we literally made a McFlurry right now. Which is like, you Yo, know. Yo, that's kinda, yeah. Yeah, but and the good thing is, uh, yeah, we're not machine. broken. Yeah, we're not broken. We might be broke, but we're not broken. Yeah, we ain't ever broke at HV Waikiki. 
You heard? Yeah. So what is your favorite memory of, um, or your favorite moment of being working at Harvard so far? Yeah, I think my favorite, my favorite memory was when we had Adrian's going away party. Bro. Oh, that was That was like such year. a good time, bro. But honestly, one of my favorite memories though, is I think Eric putting me on, it's a Mart Spamoosie Bees. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Dude, that's been in the vlog. <laughs> Well, yeah, that 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 spam was to be bro changed my life, bro. Okay. Wait, is this the same spam was to be you gave me? And I asked you what it was. You're like, no, nah, I'm not telling you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's the one, bro. What are your future endeavors? You know, what you have planned later on in the future? You know, a little something. Dude, I plan it's to still be, my mic though. But I'm I'm plan to be I plan to be rich and famous. <laughs> just just buying more vintage T-shirts, bro. I think that's what it is, bro. <laughs> the music stuff taking off, bro. That's what we really want. But I remember I was in the Melly program. Shout out the Melly program. Yeah, shout out the Melly program. Shout out, shout out the Melly program. program. And um, yeah, so I think you sat right behind me too, didn't you? Yeah, I sat right behind you, bro. <laughs> and so like literally, we'd be in the same class. I'd be like, "Hey, Brock, what are you? What are we doing right now?" You like, you like, like literally like this, like, bro, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I was so <laughs> bad, bro. And just, you just go back to sleep, and I was like, "All right, bet." <laughs> yeah, dude, like I think uh, I think my breaking point for dropping out was when I got to school at, like 6 a.m. and I. Went to the, you know, the little break area. Remember yeah. where they had the couch? And oh, like, like the, the little, like um, the lounge, yeah. Yeah, and they had that fat TV they play video games on. You remember mm -hmm. that one? So there was a couch across, and I like so would lay down on there, and mm -hmm. I fell asleep, bro, at 6 a.m. I woke up at 2 p.m., bro. Oh my God. I woke up at 2 p.m., bro. <laughs> Nobody woke me up. I'm pretty sure I was snoring, bro. And I'm like, damn, bro, it's kind of embarrassing. So I just left. I woke up, and I'm like, I checked the time, and I'm like. I'm not gonna make it to my class. And then I just left. And then I went to go get Subway and uh, Haunted Tea right across the street. Went home. And then I was like, I'm gonna drop out. All right, this has been um, the interview. We are back at UH. Connor's unloading the car. I'm not doing anything, just watching him. <laughs> just check. That's so, that's so rude. Okay, I'll start unloading too. What's up guys, Harvest Visit Waikiki here. You know, we like to push the boundaries. <laughs> Kidding. We're here to celebrate DJ's um, birthday. Shout out Game Boy Cardi. Happy <laughs> Game Boy Cardi, happy birthday. Yeah, happy 21st birthday, DJ. There he is, the birthday boy himself. Oh, Love you, man. Uh, Love you. Yeah, yeah. Right fit check, fit check right now. So, courtesy of Harbors, the boys since day one, easy gap, easy gap hoodie. You know, right. you know we gotta, Shoot, you know we gotta give you a gift for your birthday. Another bag. Oh! Had to put it on, bro. <laughs> Shout oh, out Devin, bro. Shout, Shout out Chef Shout Music. Shout out Devin, bro. Chef Music, best in the game right now, bro. Fahaji. Putting in that work. Yo, bro. Yeah, we got kith, kith socks, bro. Kith dance socks, bro. Oh, we. Oh, don't, don't worry about this, bro. Don't worry about this. Twenty one. <laughs> Oh man, we up now, we up now. <laughs> <laughs> I love Harvard. That's what I love, man. To the end, take it to the grave. I love Harvard. I go high. I got the shot. I put a hand up in the sky. Thank you guys for tuning in. The voice is gone. Hope you can hear me. Of course, happy birthday, DJ. Oh, happy birthday, DJ. Oh, I love you, DJ. Shout out, um, of course, you know, shout out Kith, shout out Kid Tree, shout out Stussy. We love you guys so much. I got tunes in the next vlog. Like and subscribe, put your notifications on. Do the whole thing.